Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today, guys, we're looking at this Firo here. Now, Firo is a interesting card with the attack drill run double. For a single twin or triple energy, you do 70 damage. And you flip a coin of heads, discard two energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Now, there are some decks out there that really do rely on that energy attachment play. So, drill run double is very devastating. And, of course, we do have Glimwood Tangle now to re-flip the coin with Firo here so that you can potentially remove those energies. It's a very devastating attack, and it's one of those attacks too, where it's like if you do discard your energy and they have no way to self-accelerate energy or anything, you're in a pretty cool, like pretty good spot. And uh, we'll see how this deck plays here today. It is kind of like a colorless box deck. I'm playing stuff like Altaria in here and Kangaskhan. Like one thing you do is like Fero, those non-GX Pokemon remove those energy, and then we can like wall with Altaria. Kangaskhan is also in here as a backup attacker. Just, it's a really cool deck here. Um, and I had a lot of fun playing it. Drill Run Double is a very fun attack to use when it gets to work. So, for you guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Car Cavern TCG, guys. As always, if you're ever looking for any PCGO codes, get them over at Car Cavern, guys. Car Cavern sells all the codes for the cheapest on the online market. So, if you guys are still looking for Champions Path codes, Dark of the Blaze codes, Rebel Clash codes, Sword and Shield codes, get them over there. If you guys also are looking for any specific uh, GX or V code or pre list kit code, you can get them over there, too. And when Vivid Voltage drops, guys, make sure to get your Vivid Voltage codes over at Card Cavern, guys. Card Cavern will be selling Vivid Voltage codes for the cheapest. So if you guys are going to be picking up any Vivid Voltage pack codes, pre loose kit codes, uh, theme deck codes, get them over at Card Cavern, guys. And if you get any codes over at Card Cavern, make sure to use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase. It helps the channel out a lot, helps yourself out, and helps out Card Cavern, too. So shout out to Card Cavern, guys. Check them out and use code LDF for a 5% discount on your purchase. Um, you can also check out my Patreon down below if you guys want to touch $2 a month to get access to exclusive content. Check out my Patreon also, another way to support the channel. So let's take a look at the deck here. So again, Firo is kind of your main attacker. We're doing Drill Run Double and uh, remove their energy. 70 damage is not a lot. Now, thankfully, we do have Power Energy to maybe try to increase the damage. We also have access to, like, Kangaskhan, so we have a few ways we can, like, finish stuff off. Now, there are some matchups where this can be a little risky and not very good. Obviously, Frostmoth, Rillaboom, um, Metal Saucer decks, like... There are some decks that like can counter Firo pretty hard. Now, obviously, Welder's like one of your worst kind of situations, but other matchups, Firo can be really good. Um, just discarding to energy can be very devastating. Um, and again, we do have some other stuff like Altaria in here as a wall option. We have Kangaskhan as backup attacker. Um, I am playing a Zangoose. Uh, just trying this out. A lot of people have been telling me to play Zangoose in these like twin energy decks that I've been building recently, so I'm gonna try it out in here. I got a Marsh Shadow to remove a Chaotic Swell for Glimwood because Glimwood is very important because you need to reflip the coin. And um, then I got a Guru. Then I, of course, have a Crobat in here for our draw option. Um, I will say I probably want to play more supporters. I wouldn't mind maybe playing a Caitlyn Cynthia or two in here um, just to have more supporter outs. Uh, go to the items. we got Great Ball, Calm, Quick Ball. You can mess around with the Ball Surges all you want. I, I wouldn't mind an Evil Wind Sensor too being in here. Then I got two Ornate Rods, um, one Reset Stamp, one Switch. Uh, I definitely want to maybe play more Switch cards. Maybe play a couple Scoop Nets in here too. Uh, but I got two Air Balloons. Most stuff has two Retreat, right? So it's like Air Balloons really good. Uh, four Glimmer Tangle, two Boss, four Marty, four Research. I am playing Yelgrunt. Ideally, if the Pokemon has like three energy on it, we can like Yelgrunt and then get heads and then discard, get removed all the energy off the board. Or we can Yelgrunt something on the bench, discard the energy on the active to slow them down. I got four triples, four twins, three Power Energy. Trying to the list here. Uh, yeah, it's my uh, Firo deck here. Really cool archetype. Draw one doubles, pretty fun to use. Pretty, probably really annoying to play against. So uh, let's see if we can win some games with this deck. All right, guys, getting into our first match. We did lose the coin flip here. Um, we might be against a Welder deck, though, so they might have made me go first. Our opening hand is okay. We do have a Quick Ball for a Spiro, which is good. Or we can get Kangaskhan. We'll see what we're playing against here. Ooh, we're up against... So we're playing against uh, Ternatus. Okay, um... I don't know what I want to do here. I guess we get rid of the Mars Shadow. Mm, we might need it though, actually. I don't know what to get rid of. I do want a Quick Ball here and put this Power Fire Gem something. I don't know what card I want to lose, to be honest. I guess we Quick Ball away the Mars Shadow. It's the only card I guess that's like theoretically not useful. We have a lot of attacking options here. We can get uh, Kangaskhan, we can get Zangoose, we can get another Spiro. We get Swablu. I'm actually probably gonna just get Kangaskhan. And put the powerful energy on the Kangaskhan. Yeah, that's fine. We'll Primate Wisdom here. Uh, see if we can get a supporter. Okay. We can attack with Firo next turn, which is pretty good. We can Yelgrunt too. If we're playing against Eternatus here, we can um, Yelgrunt their energy back into their hand, which is pretty good. I don't think we need the Marsh Shadow though. I mean, the Marsh Shadow, if they play Swell, they play Swell. There's nothing we can really do about that. 
Um, they put a Dark Energy on Hoopa. No attachment turned us here, and Hoopa's doing no damage. We don't even really need to uh, Yelgrun here because my opponent doesn't have... Yeah, we're going to be knocking them out anyway. So let's just go Primate Wisdom. See if we can get a Research or a Marnie or something. Get an Altaria. Yeah, that's not really helping. We can't win here. That was a twin energy. We'd win with a hammer in. So we just got to go for the drill a run double. See if we can discard their energy here. Make it tough on them. We do get rid of it. All right, cool. I mean, we're kind of stuck here for a couple turns until we can actually get, you know, a card to help us. But we are removing their energy. We're slowing them down a little bit, putting the pressure on. We have 100 HP too, so they can't one-shot me with Assault Gate unless they get something. I think. There's the Eternatus. So against this deck, all we really have to do is just get one heads with drill run double, right? One heads ruins Eternatus' day, so... That's what we're going to be trying to aim for here. Uh, we do have a Yalgrunt, so I mean, at the very least, we can buy a turn or two with Yalgrunt until we can actually get a support. Maybe they'll Marnie me, though. They got rid of a Marnie there, so maybe we'll see them Marnie me after all. We're going to switch into the Eternatus. There's the Marnie. That's what we like to see. We can remove their energy here. They could do Cell Connector, though, to another Eternatus, which I guess is kind of bad. Oh, this hand's also pretty bad. No draw supporters. We have to just Yalgrunt. Yeah, not much I can do there. Bad hands will always be a thing on PDCGO. Well, we got a lot of Pokemon we can use. Okay, so we can do the Drill Run Double here and Yelgrunt, the energy. Um, I think it's always going to be the Dark Energy, right? So we can just we can try to get heads here. <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that then because now they can just go. Maybe I should just put the energy from the active back in their hand. Yeah, we should have done that. Now Fear of the Up, they have the Eternus VMAX. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. We really just need a supporter here. Oh, they're going to Marnie me again. All right, can we finally find one of our draw supporters here off of this Marnie? There we go. About time. About time. We got a Glimwood, too. So all we got to do is get the energy here. We can potentially remove their energy. We can always fall back on Kangaskhan, too. If we get a powerful energy, we can always just hit with Kangaskhan here and try to knock him out with Rally back. Or hit them with rally back, but I think we want to remove their energy, right? So at least my opponent marrying me into a supporter. We finally found one of our many supporters. Let's we'll see what they do here. Scoop up net. That's fine. We can deal with Hoopas with Kangaskhan. Let's see what they do. You have just a knockout. Okay. They do air balloon. That's fine. They don't actually have a fruit tree cost, so it's not like it matters. Um all right, here we go. What do we draw? Reset stamp. I mean, oh, we don't we don't want to play it right. I don't even want to conserve it with this. I just want to dig for the energy. Though the stamp isn't bad to have. I want to make sure I get the energy. There we go. And then we can retreat. Primate Wisdom, the research on top in case of a Marnie or whatever. Got another Fero. And we'll just go for Drill Run Double. We just got to get double heads. Oh, don't get double tails. Okay, good, Fero. Good, good boy. Good boy, remove their energy. They are down three energy now. How much HP do they have left? 200. If we hit them one more time, we can knock them out with uh, Rally Back. So we can actually boss this other Eternatus up, which I'm tempted to do. The good thing about removing their energy here is now we have time to build up another Pokemon. So we can put this powerful energy maybe on the Kangaskhan, or we can put on the Swablu. Never mind, they're going to Marnie me. That hand was good too. I really wanted to boss this up too and try to remove their energy, so that kind of sucks. We'll see if they get a counter stadium here. We should find another Glimwood, so we'll see. Three energy. Okay, I think we just hold the hand. I mean, they actually, to be fair, they need to get a switch to retreat. They actually get rid of another energy, which isn't really what my opponent really wants to should be doing. Honestly, we could also just retreat Fero into Altaria here. If we can get Altaria. We can like go into Altaria. They'll probably switch this, right? They could switch it this turn. No, they're going to stay in the active. So let's see what we do. <sighs> Stop giving me all this energy. I don't need it. All right, we got another Kangaskhan. This will bench it. We'll... Powerful energy. We can just put the twin on the Sphero, I guess. I'm just going to draw on double again. 130 HP. So they can get knocked out by uh, a rally back here. Uh, they are out of Marnie, so that is good to know. They have no Marnies left. And do they have Switch? It turned as VMAX in their hand. They probably do find it this turn. 
it's very likely they do. Well, how many Switch have they played? They've played one. Yeah, there's it, we're probably going to go into the Eternatus Meat Max and knock me out. And then we just go with another Firo. Oh, they're actually going to boss the other Kangaskhan. Hmm. I don't, really under, I don't really understand that play. Unless... Yeah, I don't really understand that play. They should, I mean, not not going to my Spiro is what we want, right? We want our Spiros to be living here. How many nets has he played? Three. He could knock out my Swablu with Goon Ping. Nope, okay. I mean, I guess he wants to trap this, but that's good for me. I'm just going to go put Twin Energy on and just, I guess, hit this thing. To a boss. We can retreat into Firo here, which is actually probably what I'm going to do. Then we're going to boss up the Eternatus. And just try to remove their energy. We can just run them out of energy. That's our other win condition. There we go. All right, bye-bye energy. So how many energy are they down now? They are down four darks, two capture energy. So they have probably four energy left. And we still have a few Feroes. We just got to be careful with their energy conservation. They attach again. We can remove that. We can literally just run them out of energy here at this point. I'm just going to keep holding the hand. I mean, I don't really want... There's the other Fero. Perfect. Yeah, I don't really want to do anything with this hand. I mean, we should probably evolve the Swablu, I guess. But let's... We just keep hitting this thing and keep, keep trying to get double heads. Or keep trying to get heads. Yeah, there we go. We're moving another energy. They're going to run out of energy. We're going to win by them running out of energy, it looks like. They have probably one capture and, like, two darks left. So, like, there's the energy. There's a research to go with it. There's a calm going bye-bye. Honestly, they should have just sat behind the Eternatus. Or even go into, like, Goon or something. Because, like, no matter what, this thing... Like, they can't they can't attach the active. As long as we have a Fero in play, they can't attach to it. We have a pretty good army here. We have... We can... Once we get Altaria down, I'll be feeling pretty safe. But we don't even need Altaria anymore. Because, like, they're just running out of energy. And not to mention these two Hoopas. Like, they're not really that much of a threat. We only have one ability in play. And that 90 damage. I guess it could one-shot me. Okay, there's the VMAX. Okay, so if they have a switch here, that could be a bit of a problem. They can switch. They have a scoop up net. Ooh, they might knock out my Swablu here. I mean, it, if it gets knocked out, it gets knocked out. It's not the end of the world. Actually, that is their last scoop up net, I'm pretty sure. So they actually probably... I guess they can't knock me out then. They're gonna hit my active. Okay, I guess you can two-shot me a power accelerator. But we're still gonna run you out of energy. It's not gonna matter. Right, let's just conserve the energy. All right, I think I'm going to research now and try to get the Altaria here. <laughs> Got to switch. I actually don't want to get rid of that, but I have to do it. You want to get Altaria here? That's not Altaria. Can this get Altaria? That does not get an Altaria. All right, looks like our Swablu might be a goner. All right, let's drill, run. Actually, we could have switched another Firo, technically. That might have been the better play, actually, to switch in the Firo so they don't get a prize here. Yeah, that probably was the better play. They have 10 HP left. All right, they're out of capture energies. All they have left is their basic dark. There is a black market. I kind of figured they'd be playing something like that. That's fine, though. We literally have all... We have three Glimwoods in the deck, so it's not that big of a deal. Our hand is pretty good, too, right? We just go Fira. We can, we can even Yalgrunt. There's a Goon. All right, well, they are out of scoop-up net, so uh, they can't knock out my Swab Blue. We're definitely going to research again, though, because we need to find this. Oh, they're going to bring my Guru. Why wouldn't they not just bring in Kingaskhan? Oh, there's the counter stadium. Yeah, now we'll go into the fresh Firo. I'm just gonna research. I don't want to get. I don't really want to even conserve the triple at this point. I don't think we need it anymore. We just want to get the Altaria. There it is. Now I'm feeling pretty good, and we can conserve something here, I guess. And drill run double for the knockout. My opponent just can't attack. I mean, this is definitely... Eternus, I feel like, is definitely one of your better matches in this deck. Just because you literally run them out of energy so easy. There's two rods, so... We could probably win the deck out race, too. Even if they try to deck me out. This is definitely game over, though. Like, they... Literally, they're down eight energy. They probably only have two left. And, uh... Once they use up those two energy, we have another Fero ready to move the energy. So it's like, how can they win at this point? How can they win? We could probably take all of our prizes too, right? That's another thing with this deck. It's like, even when they go through Fear, they now they have to go through the Altaria, which is not good. We run them out of energy, they make them go through Altaria. We have all these Kangaskhans ready to start swinging. I just don't see how they're going to win. 
Like, at this point in time, it's not looking good for my opponent's Eternatus deck. I think the only way they could beat me is if they're playing Poison Eternatus. Poison Eternatus seems like a worse matchup for us because they could just passively poison me. So that definitely would be a problem. All right, Quick Ball gets a Goon. Can't do anything with that Goon. Good thing we got the Altarian to Swap Blue, though. We're we can definitely just deck them out at this point. Let's see if they attach anywhere. Like, as long as we have two two Pharaohs in play, they can't really attach energy to an Eternatus. Like, unless we get double tails, but even then, they're, they'll be out of energy completely, and then we can just sweep them with an Altaria, because they're now in three bots. So it's like, they literally can't win anymore. They There's no way they can win. They they can't attack me anymore with an Eternatus, because we'll discard all their energy. And even if they do build a one Eternatus, they're out of energy completely, unless they play an Ornery Rod, and then we just sweep them with Altaria, which they can't stop. So it's like, it's literally impossible for my opponent to win now. Like, their win condition has just been thwarted. We're just going to keep doing Drill Run Double. Like, at this point, nothing else needs to be done. We just keep attacking. I guess we could do Primate Wisdom, but we don't need to. We could Rod, actually, too. I wouldn't mind actually putting back Mars Shadow. I don't know. I think we've I think we've got him, though. Oh, there's their extra energy. All right, they do have it. But again, we have Firo. Like, they literally would have to play an Ornate Rod. If they have an Ornate Rod, I might be a little shooketh, but we can just get another Firo in play. Let's see what they decide to do here. Crobat's stuck, too. We knock out Crobat. That's pretty good. And then we just need to boss one of these up. Powerful energy. I guess we'll start doing Primate Wisdom again. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, per se. <laughs> just gonna keep doing Drill Run Double. Alright, I'm glad we're getting Tails when they don't have an energy on. That is pretty good. Alright, so... If they attack me with a turn just here... Okay, no. They're not. I was going to say, if they attack me with a turn just they're going to be out of energy. Alright, draw run double. We'll hold the hand. They could stamp me, I guess. That's not really a big deal. Alright, I'm, I'm liking these tails when they don't have energy on. That is really cool. That's good. Alright, Marnie, and we get a research. More supporters. The merrier. Okay. I mean... What can they even bring in here? They can bring in Goon, I guess. Or they can bring in one of the Hoopas. Oh, they're going to bring the Eternatus. All right, here we go. All right, they have their last energy. So this will this will attack me. Yep, this thing attacks me. And then we just knock... We hit them back. We move the energy. Not to mention we have Altaria to wall with, too. So, like, it's... I just don't see a win condition for them. We didn't put another... We didn't even put Spiro back in play. Might as well do that. Might as well just put the Spearow back in the deck. Put another Spearow down. Let's just check our energy count real quick. Oh, we have one triple left. Okay. Gotta be a little careful of our energy. So, I mean, technically, we actually do have to get double heads here. But we have Altaria, so it's like even if we don't. Uh-oh. No! Spiro, what are you doing, bro? That's five tails in a row. No! No, Firo. Oh my god, I got too cocky. I got too cocky. They have an 11th energy, too? Are you serious? Oh my god. What is this? Dude. Oh no, I just I just got trolled. Uh-oh. This is not good. I'm kind of... I'm kind of shooketh right now. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am not... That's not good. Oh my gosh. The, the double tails, bro. Okay, we're gonna Marnie and hope to get the triple energy. We can see... We can see six cards here. We're trying to get that triple. There we go. Alright, Firo. Do not get seven tails this time. That would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, we just gotta hope we don't get seven tails again. <laughs> so, we need to get... One heads here, and we probably just win. There we go. Okay. How much energy do they have left? Six. All right, they are down 11 energy. They, I... Oh my god. How much energy does this guy play, hey, bro? Seriously? Okay, research. That's it, then. That's That should be the end of the game. He's decked out. Oh my god. What a weird game, bro. This guy, for some reason, plays 12 energy and has a turn to his deck. Which kind of caught me off guard, but, uh, you know, we still won the game. We decked, we decked him out, we ran him out of energy. Our deck still played pretty well there. I'm not gonna lie, 
got a little scary when this guy dropped an energy on the Hoopa. And then we got those double tails there. So things got a little hairy at the end there, but we still managed to squeak out a win. All right, guys, let's get another match here. Hopefully we can win this uh, game. We'll see. Uh, we lose the coin flip. That's not good. All right. Now, hopefully we can actually get a decent start, too. That's one thing I want to give this deck, too. You know, it's an actual draw supporter in an opening hand. See, so we're playing against here. We're up against Flash. I mean, hopefully we just get something. That's all That's all a man wants in his life is, like, competent starting hands. That's not a competent starting hand. Draw supporters, where are you at? Um, okay, he's mulligan, which is good. We'll see what he's playing. Santa Scorch. Ugh. So Santa Scorch is definitely hard to beat because they have Welder to self flurry energy. But we do have a few things we can maybe do. Um, we'll see. I mean, we have Altaria. I think Altaria Kangaskhan might be the better sh better combo here. I mean, it's not going to work out for us in the end because our hand is absolutely trash. So we'll have to see. Um, that's not helping. That's not a good card. Can we get a supporter is my main question. If you ever run them out of Welder, we can maybe win the game with Firo. We'll see how it goes. Heat Energy, Calm. Hmm. They are going first, which is good, because they can't do that Volcanium play. We can, I guess we'll have to Yawgrub this Heat Energy in their hand. I can't do anything, because this hand is terrible. Oh, they're playing Jirachis. That means they have Mewtwo for Welder, then, which is kind of bad. Okay, they get a quick ball. Yeah, not much we can do. Our don't even have a twin energy to go with this Firo. It's like, what am I supposed to do with this hand? They have two energies. I mean, we'll see how this goes, right? They could run out of energy pretty easily. All right, can we draw anything useful? We do kind of draw something useful. Can we see anything off this great ball? Get a Crobat. About we'll to take it. I'm not gonna play it this turn though. To be honest, I don't really think we need to. Let's go here. We can wait a turn to Crobat. We can do a lot more next turn. I actually don't mind that Yogurum play because now they can't just Welder and High Heat Blast knock me out. So that's actually pretty good. So they still they have to go Steaming Stomp or Hot Burn, but they do that. We go Firo. Hope they move their energy as long as we can uh, get a competent hand. They play Marnie, bro. Wait, what? Oh no, there goes our hand. Well, I guess it gives a better chance to find a supporter, but. I don't. Yeah, oh, no, no Marnie. Oh. Webcam, you wanna you wanna focus? Oh, no, there we go. I don't know why my webcam keeps going out of focus like that. Alright, let's see what they do here. I actually don't mind hitting this vault, because I mean Altaria probably is our wing condition. Considering they have they just have too much energy to work with. It's really hard to run them out of especially well, they don't have Victini now. So maybe maybe Fear is actually not too bad. So I think yeah, wing condition is always gonna be Altaria though, I think. Big charm, that's fine. Are they gonna pass? Nope, they're gonna go into the vault. Are they gonna hit me? They are. Okay, I don't actually I don't agree with that. Alright. They're swab blue. Alright, see, we can draw more cards with Crobat here. Which is good. We can draw six cards. But I want to just get a supporter. We don't even need the Yogurt anyways. Okay, see, this worked out. I mean, I guess we could actually just hold the hand. It's not bad, but what if we don't get double heads? That's the only problem. We can, like, Yogurt energy... We could do, I mean, I guess we can do like, we could put this energy back in their hand. No, but they can just welder. They haven't played a welder yet. No, they played one. I want to move both energy. So if we, we'll do this and then we'll just see if we get a heads. I don't know. Maybe we should have just went for the switch. Okay. We got, we got the heads anyways. All right, cool. See, that paid off. See, now they're down. We just moved all their energy off the board. It was worth it. I think it was still fine to do that anyways, because like our game plan is just take this Volk down so that we can use Altaria and try to sweep with Altaria. Having Crobat in play isn't really gonna help our case though, but you know, if PDCGO would, you know, want to give me an actual good opening hand and you know, not make me bench my own Crobat, it would have been nice. So we'll see if Crobat ends up being the death of us. Oh, another bad hand, love to see it. Um Great Ball for Ranguru one time. No, we'll take the Altaria, I guess. All right, now we're kind of stuck. Now we are stuck because our hand sucks. We can switch into the Mar Shadow, I guess. I don't really want to lose my Firo here, so I think I would just switch into Mar Shadow. Not much I can do. Not much I can do. 
This is why I want to get the Guru in place. So we can keep putting supporters on top of the deck. So if we do get Marnie, we won't get awkward hands like this. I mean, I don't even... There's nothing really going to add to this deck, right? Other than, like, maybe a Caitlyn Cynthia or something. Just more draw supporters. Maybe, like, play an Erica or something. I don't know. Maybe play a Bird Keeper, too. I don't know. Maybe this deck could use a couple more supporters. Because these dead hands are starting to be the death of me. We just can't do anything. We just got to keep passing. I wouldn't mind knocking them out with Altaria there, to be honest. If we can find an energy. But we can't even get an energy to attack with Altaria. We have a lot of outs here, though. We can get, like, a Calm. We can get a Quick Ball for Guru. We have a lot we can do. And I don't even want to have Marsha get knocked out because, like, we can remove it off the board and we don't have to worry about... That's one less prize they have to take. We'll see. I mean, if they're stuck, they're stuck, right? We should probably bench Kangaskhan, I guess, too. I don't know. We might want to hold it. Yeah, they're going to go in Jirachi. Rip in the chat. See, if... You know, in a perfect world, our hand would have been good. We could have knocked out this thing by now, and then Altaria would have had legs. We'll see how many Volks they end up playing, though. They might only play a few Volks, so we might be okay. All right, let's see what this Marnie gives us. It should give us a good hand, right? There we go. We actually got something. We can actually get Guru here. But do they have a knock -in? They need to scoop up net energy. They are down three switch. That's so actually unlikely they can move the Jirachi. We can get a free prize on it. What do we draw? Rod. We can quick ball for Guru. If it's in the deck, it is. I mean, well, they only have so many gust options, too. I guess that's one other thing we gotta consider. They don't really play that many gust cards, so we might be able to still win the game by just them not having gust. Primate Wisdom. Okay, that's good. Things are starting to shape up now. This is what I like to see. We're drawing a little bit better. Ooh, you got the Kangaskhan combo. All right, we'll take a knockout here for sure. See what our uh, prize is. Okay, I'm liking that too. Not getting heads when we don't need it. We got a boss. We can boss up the Volk next turn and knock it out with Altaria, which is tempting. They are down three switch. It's like pretty hard for them to get a Volk. So I think we'll go Altaria and then we'll put the air balloon on it. We'll knock out their Volcanian. We'll go from there. Yeah, there's the fire crystal. So that's the only problem with the Sphero. It's like they have a way to sell our energy back. Like it's really hard to knock out the Senna Scorch. But like it just has to be, we have to win Altaria. The only problem is we have this thing in play. I don't know if we're going to win this, guys. Having the Crowband play isn't helping our case. It's a good thing that I'm building up a Volcanian, though. Let's see. Are they going to get another Volk here? If they get another Volk, uh, nope. Okay, I was going to say, they get another Volk, we'll knock it out with Kangaskhan. If they do get an Eldegoss, that's kind of bad. That gives them a free welder. Yeah, the Fearow strategy doesn't really work against Senna Scorch, so I think we just got to knock another Volk. I mean, our win condition has to just be Altaria. We'll see if we can win this. This is definitely going to be a close one for sure. It's just, the, the, the hard part is the Crobat's in play. If we didn't have Crobat in play, I'd feel a lot more confident in our ability to win. But we just can't with Crobat because we had to play down because this game does not like give me good opening hands. I mean, they might have boss in their hand, we'll see. See what this gives us? Limwood Tangle, I will take it. We can bump their stadium and knock out their Volk. I guess we should have Air Balloon the Altaria. I want to do that, so maybe I should have. Ooh, another boss. So if they bench a, uh, they bench another Volcanian here, we can chase it with Drill Run Double, or we can, uh, I don't know. We could just still go Fero and then go Kangaskhan. There's the Eldegoss. So they're going to go for that Eldegoss play. Okay, they're going to weld her to the Goss. I mean, they do have access to, like, Welder Goss with, like, Boss, which is kind of bad. How many Gloomers do we play? Just one. So we should win the Stadium War. Malana. That's a good discard. They got one energy? Hmm. Okay. To be honest, too, a deck out play might be in the works, too, on this Heat Ran. We'll see. They are down, they're down four Switch Outs, which is, like, what I'm liking. I'm just gonna keep chilling this hand, I guess. Uh, we'll play the Marsh Shadow now, actually, too, just so we can um, so we can get off the boards. One less prize to get to take. I might just put the power in the active. I don't mind this. We can hit them a bit harder. That seems good. Hit them for 80. They have 300 HP, but they can't damage me. And they do bench a Volk here. Oh, they, I guess, well, they're down so many switching notes. It's actually gonna be hard knocking out Volk. Yeah, there's a Marnie. I maybe should have benched the Kangaskhan. I still think I should have put the Air Balloon on too, but we can always retreat the power energy. But it's fine. 
we have we're guaranteed boss so they do bench a volk here we can also chase it there's their boss so they have boss for next turn on my poor crowbat here they could also knock out guru guru knocking out guru is actually well both are bad obviously we'll see I mean, uh, we could, we're doing 80. I don't think Altaria can never really one shot Volk, right? I'm gonna see we top deck. Some more Tangle. Right, and the off chance they're gonna knock me out here. We're gonna go for this. It's gonna speed dive. They got 230 HP left. So let's see if they boss out the Crobat. I mean, that's like the most obvious play, right? Boss Crobat, knock it out. Are they going for it though? How much HP do they have? 230. Our ring edition could be use Kangaskhan knock this thing out if we ever get enough damage on it. But they still have Malon and Eldegoss. I don't know. I think we just got a solo with Altaria. This is going to be a tough one, though. I'm not going to lie. This is tough. Really, just... It sucks we had to play down the Crobat, though. Like, this, see, this is what's killing me. They're going to put boss back, right? Yep. They put the boss back on top of the deck. Okay. Not good. They get two prizes here. And we can just keep bringing the Altaria, though, and keep doing our thing. What do we top deck other than the boss? I'm not... <laughs> Never mind. I know. We're top decking boss. There's Kangaskhan. All right. Not going to mention, though. We're just going to speed dive for 80 more damage. They got 150 HP left. How much energy are they down? None of the discards. So they're down six. They're down eight energy. They probably still have, like, five in the deck. Five or six energy left. It's just hard to win when they have so much energy to work with. They have a boss too, right? They could just they could loop Eldegoss with boss, so we can't really bench anything else at this point. Okay, why are they not out Guru? I would knock out Guru, but okay. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna win this one, guys. I'm trying to think, but it's not looking good. I guess we could have done Guru there, but at this point it doesn't really matter. They have 70 HP left. They have their other boss in their hand. They have 70 HP. So we can knock him out next turn. We can boss knock out the Senna Scorch. Never mind, they're gonna stamp me. And that stamp gave me nothing really to work with. Not good. Oh, they had their last switch. Rip. Crobat. I mean, yeah, they just don't have a Volk left. We can win. If they do, we lose. I don't know. I feel like they would have gotten a Volk already. Maybe they just don't have... Maybe they only play one Volk. I don't know. Or it's prized. I don't know. It's unlikely we win this, though, right? It's like, how do we deal with this? Ooh, there's the boss. So we can actually knock out their Scorch here, which is what we're going to do. Dead card? Yeah, okay, that's fine. So a quick ball... For Kangaskhan. Not gonna bench it, obviously, because we lose, we bench it. So we just go speed dive. Alright, we're getting somewhere. We get a knockout. We'll see what our prizes are. Research is good. Ordinary Rod's bad. And Firo's fine. Okay, so how many boss do we have left? We have one boss. I was gonna say we can boss to Dene twice. We don't have that option available. Another stamp to one. Stamp boss, my guru would really suck. No, they actually have it? Rip. Okay, well, here we go, folks. Can Altaria take down the Senna Scorch deck? We're about to find out. We're about to find out if we can beat the Senna Scorch deck. It's definitely going to be an uphill battle. Marnie top deck's pretty good. We can even use Marnie maybe to deck him. I don't know if that's even going to be a thing, though. Again. They probably just have the last Volk. I just... It's probably impossible to win. Yeah, there's the Calm. They're going to get Volcanion. They might even just win this turn. Well, maybe not. They're actually out of Switch. Did they not get a Volk with that? They didn't get a Volk. Do we actually have game here because they just don't have a Volcanion? Wow. They really don't. We actually might have a shot of winning this. We could deck them out with Marnie if they don't do Eldegoss soon. They only have so much HP left. We keep bullying this. We find our last boss. We have one boss left. I don't know. Yeah, we might actually have a shot of winning this. Can we Marnie them this turn? 
Oh my gosh. If they play one more card from their hand, we win with Marnie. Yo, play one more card and don't do all the goss. We can win with Marnie. No. Ah, uh, but they do have uh, the Eldegoss loop, though. Hmm. Oh, we'll see. The Marty win condition is still on the table. We have ton of we have ordinary rods. We have a lot of cards to work with. We literally have thirty cards. We have I don't know. I think we're gonna win this for sure. Yeah, I think we will win this, right? We probably I think we have enough damage to win as long as they don't have another Volcano and we have game. I really want to deck them out with Marnie, though. Like, they just... Please keep playing your hand down. So we can deck you with Marnie. They concede. All right, cool. Where was their other Vulcanian? Right, I want to take a look at their deck. How many Volks did they have? I can't look at their deck. All right, I'm going to have video, guys, on the Firo deck here. We won the game with Altaria. We get a Gengar Mimikyu off of the prizes. So yeah, that'll be it for the video on the Firo Colors box deck, whatever you want to call it. I'm still going to call it a Firo deck because it was it's still a Firo deck at heart. Really fun deck to play, though. It is pretty satisfying, too, to get double heads or double uh, energy discard off with Firo. It's pretty cool to do that. Not going to lie, I did enjoy this deck quite a bit. I thought it was fun. My only concern was just not having draw supporters when we needed them. So I think, honestly, I might want to play more supporters in this deck. Don't know what I would. Maybe the Zangus can get cut. We didn't really get to use Zangus here. But a lot of people are telling me to put Zangus in their decks that are like these colorless box decks. I don't know, Zangu seemed like a good idea, but I definitely can see you just cutting it for another supporter. Maybe play like an Erica or something, or like play a couple Kaelin Cynthia's. That's not terrible either. Oh, we actually only had two boss. I thought we had three boss for some reason. Never mind, we only had one boss. Maybe another boss isn't bad in here, but I think a Kaelin Cynthia too would be really good in this deck. So for you in the video, uh, I am not doing an intro. Sorry guys. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching the video guys on the Firo deck. Pretty fun deck, a lot of fun to play. Uh, definitely satisfying to do drill run double. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in another video tomorrow uh yeah i'll try to get a one more legacy video hopefully before vivid voltage comes out i'm trying to look for one more card from legacy to do a video on one a new legacy deck so once i do get this card i will hopefully get a video on it before thursday or maybe the video will go on wednesday we'll have to see how things work out um, thanks for watching guys check out card down below use code LDF if you get any codes uh follow me on twitter down below help me reach a thousand followers check out my tiktok too um in the description below i do post tiktoks now so if you guys want to check it out thanks for watching guys Bye bye